Hello everyone, I'm Miles Parsons, Research Scientist at the Australian Institute of Marine Science and Co-Chair of the Global Library of Underwater Biological Sounds, or GLUBS, Working Group 169. Thank you for listening to this presentation and please accept our apologies for not being there in person. Our team is made up of interdisciplinary acousticians and scientists from all over the world with a common goal of documenting, preserving and improving detection of underwater biological sounds to track biodiversity and inform conservation efforts. In our first year as a small working group, we made large strides towards this ultimate goal and achieving the tasks associated with our proposed terms of reference. So I'm excited to share the highlights with you today. Within GLOVES' five sub-working groups, cyber infrastructure, artificial intelligence, unknown sounds, marine mammal sounds and public outreach, we have held numerous focal meetings as well as several large meetings between the working groups. Every month the co-chairs along with two other key members have met to keep GLUBS moving forward, identify and write funding proposals and provide updates on the different moving parts. To address standardising sound annotation and categorisation, TOR4, two virtual work groups were held consisting primarily of GLUBS members but also including several outside experts in the field. We expect this effort to result in a peer-reviewed publication soon, adding to our three publications in the last year. GLOBS has a strong re record for publishing the discussion and outcomes of our large group meetings. Parsons et al. 2023, for example, was published as a book chapter in the Effects of Aquatic Noise 2022 publication, summarising the outcomes of our meeting in person in 2022. Another key publication to achieve our first TOR in our first year was led by early career, sir, early career scientist Audrey Lubri. Published in Scientific Data, we created an inventory of a roughly 36,000 species categorised by their confirmed or predicted sinniferous behaviour underwater. This data set has been connected to the World Registry of Marine Species as a searchable trait and further linked to the species distribution application on the Ocean Biodiversity Information System. This provides the ability not only to identify what species produce sound, but where one might expect to hear certain sound types or what composition of sinniferous species could be expected to be at a chosen location. Finally, in terms of our publications to address the first part of TOR7, another early career scientist, Sierra Jarrell, led the publication of a Zenodo dataset collating existing underwater sound repositories biological sound libraries and tools for sound processing and analysis. This was also integrated into our website, glubs.org. As listed in TOR number four, GLUBS aims to inspire others to investigate unknown sound detection and characterization. Our Frontiers research topic on this subject has currently received 10 submissions with eight published or accepted and several more in preparation. We plan to write an editor editorial synopsis to accompany this research topic. In addition to movement on the scientific front, GLUBS has had a productive year for outreach and establishing its presence in the bioacoustics community. We have presented GLUBS at several conferences, including the Acoustical Society of America, both in Australia in 2023 and Canada in 2024, Ocean Sciences Meeting in the US, African Bioacoustics Community Conference, and the World Ecoacoustics Congress in Spain this summer through talks, plenaries, posters or small sessions. GLUBS teamed up with other acoustic projects endorsed by the UN Decade of Ocean Science and hosted a satellite event at the UNDOS conference in Barcelona about the importance of sound in the sea. Finally, we have had tremendous success with the outreach surrounding our second World Oceans Passive Acoustic Monitoring Day or WAPAM Day with more than 400 planned recording sites from over 100 different contributing institutes. In the lead up to this event, WAPAM and GLUBS were featured on numerous social media platforms, news channels, and a five part podcast anticipated to reach over 50,000 people um, that was based in Australia. This upcoming year, we plan to continue building on these accomplishments and switching focus to our Marine Mammal Sounds Library and Artificial Intelligence goals. We have several papers in progress that are expected to be published soon, including a perspective piece on current artificial intelligence practices and annotation standardization for machine learning. We want to thank SCORE 
and the RQOE for their support and continued guidance. Thank you for your time.